it is in the class file section engineering one down to the hand drawing folder where it says inlaid linoleum you'll hit the view button first thing that we're going to do is we're going to save our drawing as 4-46 and then draw the overall dimension so I'm going to go to here do a file save as then you're going to save it in your network drive. So your username, your network drive. And you're going to call it 4-46 and hit save. So now that's yours. We're going to go to model space, which is in the bottom left. This is where we draw. Okay, so we're going to change our layer type to visible. I'm going to change mine to a different color just to make it uh, easier for you to see on the screen. Okay, well, next we're going to draw the overall, which is 8 by 5.5. Go to line, start somewhere right here. We're going to move our cursor to the right, type in 8 on the keyboard, hit enter, move our cursor up, type in 5 1 divided by 2, which is 5.5, we'll hit enter. Move our cursor to the left, make sure that we're completely flat, type in 5 1 divided by 2. Enter. Oh, that was supposed to be eight. Go ahead, hit escape, click on it, delete it. Hit line again. Click on the endpoint. Move to the left eight, then hit enter, not five and a half. And then connect the line down here below. Hit escape. Now that we have our overall, what we want to do next is we want to create these reference lines that are vertical and horizontal based off of these dimensions. So we're going to start with these ones, the two and a half, half, two, by using the offset button. So we're going to use offset, so we'll click that. We're going to type in 2-1 divided by 2. We're going to hit enter. You're going to click on this left vertical line. And as you move your cursor to the left or right, you can notice it's making a copy of it that exact distance. Move it to the right and left click once. Hit escape. Go back up to the modify um, offset button. Type in one half. So one divided by two. Hit enter. Click on that line you just created and offset. Move it to the right. <coughs> Hit escape. So we're going to continue doing this to get all of our vertical and horizontal lines. Hit offset. Two. Enter. Click on the vertical line. Move to the right. Left click. Escape. Offset. One half. Enter. Click here, move to the right. Now we have our vertical reference lines for these right here. So this one, this one here, this one, this one. Now we need to create the horizontal, which is one and a half, half, one and a half. Offset, one and a half, one dash, one divided by two. Click on the horizontal line move your cursor down and left click escape offset one half enter click on your line move it down left click hit escape offset one dash one divided by two enter click on the line you just made move that one down left click again hit escape 
one last time, offset, one half, enter, click on the line, move it down, and click. We just created our vertical and horizontal lines. We can tell from this that we don't need anything between these points, so we're going to use the trim command to get rid of that. Come up here to this button right here, the trim button, click it, left click somewhere up here, select all, left click again, once it's all highlighted, hit enter to activate it. Right now on my screen it's telling me to select the objects to trim. So I'm going to move my cursor to a point in between two lines like this and I'm going to click on that and it's going to get rid of it. I'm going to do each corner separate. So once I get this corner, I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to hit trim. Select everything. Hit enter. Select my lines I don't want. Hit enter. And just repeat the same steps over again to get the corners like such. But looking at the example I can tell that there's nothing here in the middle so I want to trim away the stuff in the middle. So I go to the trim button, select everything, hit enter Now I'm going to get rid of this stuff here in the middle. As I start to try to get rid of this line over here, it's telling me I can't. It doesn't intersect with anything. So if you just hit enter, you can click on this line and delete it on your keyboard. Hit delete. All right, now that we have this section, okay, we're almost there. We just have to get this little jog out which is one and a half over so this line is one and a half over so to create this we're going to offset this line right here over one and a half so we're going to go up to the offset button click that type in one dash one divided by two hit enter we're going to click on this vertical line right here we're going to move our cursor to the left we're going to left click once, hit escape. What that did for me was created a reference point that I can come up and over to create this little jog right here. So I'm going to go up to the line button. I'm going to select this point right here at the end of that line. I'm going to move my cursor up. And I'm going to type in 5 divided by 8 on my keyboard. Hit enter. You can notice that it's a little bit above this section right here. So all I'm going to do is move my cursor now over to the left to this intersection. And then left click and hit escape. Do the same thing for this point down and over. So we're going to go to line. We're going to click on this endpoint. We're going to move our cursor down and we're going to type in 5 divided by 8. Hit enter. We're going to move our cursor to the left to this point. Left click, then hit escape. Now, before this starts getting too congested and busy, let's trim some of this up. Okay, we don't need this line right here anymore. So let's click on this line, and delete it. So now you can kind of see what we're supposed to look at. We don't need these lines right here. So let's go to trim. Select all of this. Hit enter. And click on that. Hit enter. Do the same thing for down below. Trim. Select that half. Hit enter. I don't want those two parts. You can start to see it a little bit now. We don't need this little part right here. So let's just 
Another way of trimming is to click on it and use the grip. Just left click the grip over. So it looks like that. Hit escape, click on this ver this vertical line. Just grab the little grip, just left click it once and bring it up. Repeat the same down here, just click on the line, grab the grip, move it over, then hit escape. Click on the line, grab the grip, move it down, hit escape. Lastly, what we need to do is offset this line right here one half so we can create this channel. We already have this half, we have this half, now we need this part right in here. So we're going to use the offset button, type in one half, hit enter, click on this line, move it up, click on this line, move it over. We need to connect these two lines so if we click on it, you can bring the grip up, click on this one, bring this grip over. And this uh, top one back down now that we know where the end is. Hit escape. We don't need any of this stuff here in the middle. We don't need this, we need this, that, or this. Hit the trim button, grab all of this. Hit enter. Click on what you don't need. And now we have that little jog out. I'm going to do the same thing down here. So I'm going to offset <coughs> one half, hit enter, click on the vertical line, go out, click on this horizontal, go down, hit escape a couple times. I'm going to click on both lines and bring them over and down to create that jog right there. I don't need this stuff in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim all of this, I'm going to hit enter, this side is done. If you do those same steps for this side, you'll have this drawn. So we'll offset one and a half, click on this line, bring it over, draw a line. That's up, 5 eighths, then over, draw a line down, 5 eighths, and over, trim, Delete this line, offset those, one half, up half, over half, over half, down half, so it's the opposite. <coughs> Using the grips, we're going to extend those lines so they can intersect with each other, like that. Lastly, I just need to trim this up, so I'm going to hit trim, select that, hit enter, trim the parts I don't need. Just make sure that you save your drawing when you're done.